Hi everyone and a uh, warm welcome to this film. So today I'm going to talk to you about uh, nail repair and actually replacing um, an entire nail. So this is my right hand thumbnail which this morning was uh, a really fantastic thing I've been growing for months but uh, I took the bins out this morning, got it caught on the door handle and now there's no nail. So uh, got to think positively about these things because um, it gives me a chance to show you um, a solution which I've got for this. So I've got lots of concerts coming up over the summer in France, in uh, Cardiff, in, in Scotland, so I need a thumbnail. Now you'll be aware that you can get nail replacement kits from uh, guitar kind of suppliers and so forth, but I find them uh, quite pricey, although they're very, very good. And I was interested to see if I could find a, um, a lower price solution. So if you're a student or you're just short of a few uh, pennies, then this could work for you as well. So I'm going to talk you through the solution and uh, yeah, let's get on with that. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. Um, on the right hand side there, you can see you've just got uh, good old fashioned Loctite Super Glue 3. Uh, what I would say is it's a gel based uh, glue rather than the liquid glue. Uh, it's just much easier to manage, I find. And in the middle, there's um, a kind of a nail product. Uh, it's like a beautician's product, actually. And it's a silk strip. It comes on a tape, which you can cut off. OK, and on the left hand side there, yes, it's a clothes peg. And I use this as my spreader and the, to kind of distribute the glue over the nail. So this lot I got off the, the Internet all in one package. Um, and it cost me about seven pounds and it's going to last me uh, many years, I'm sure. Okay, so here's the process. So I've taken out my strip of nail silk and all you do is you just cut a section off and you peel the back off and what I like about this one um, is that it's actually already adhesive. So I'm going to cut a strip and then I'm going to put it on my thumbnail. Okay, so here's um, a bit of the silk, um, obviously uh, the wrong shape at the moment. So I'm going to glue this on now with um, my super glue. You can see I've used this uh, bottle design, which I quite like, where you squeeze the edges. It's just quite nice to control. Okay, so I've squeezed on my uh, super glue, and now using my clothes peg, my high tech tool, I'm just going to spread that across the nail. And because the silk has got holes, it'll go through the silk and go onto the nail itself. So I've not put any glue at all directly onto my nail. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do this for a few layers. Um, when I've done this in the past, I've needed three or four. So there's the first one, now cut another piece. Okay, this has now got four layers of silk and I'm just uh, spreading that glue now on the last layer. And you can see I'm spreading it along the complete length of the nail, even though I know obviously you're going to cut off the majority of this. It's just I want the striking part to be uh, nice and solid when it's dry. So I have to wait a while now, uh, let this dry, it's going to take a while and then I'll show you the shaping stage. <laughs> okay, so here we are 10-15 minutes later. You can see it's kind of fairly rigid now. The glue's dried. So just with a pair of regular scissors, I'm just going to trim away the worst of the excess now. Okay, so just using a mixture of just this regular uh, scissors. My sharp pair is good. And just a pair of nail clippers. You can see that I've got something that's starting to resemble a nail now. It's pretty firm. I think I want it to be a bit firmer, so I'm going to apply a touch more glue, put another layer on, then let that dry, then I'll start filing. And I've got the squeezy bottle of the glue. It goes. Get my uh, clothes peg. <laughs> Just spread that across. There you go. I'm going to let that dry now another 10 minutes or so. Put a bit underneath as well, I think, just to fill at both sides. You can see I put the uh, silk um, a long way back onto the nail. You need to get a, a good surface area for it to glue to, otherwise it'll be too floppy. So do go right back onto the natural nail. Okay, so you can see now it's been another 10 minutes or so at the stage where I can actually clip this, the nail clipper, like so. You can hear, you know, making it here I'm making the clicking sound which uh, tells me it is cutting against something quite solid like a nail. So I'm just going to trim off a touch more. Then I'm going to start using a uh, file, then obviously paper, then eventually um, shine it up. So this uh, pen knife has got a fairly coarse file 
in it. So I'll just work away at the edges, start shaping the nail now. Hope you can see that. Okay, so at this stage now when I'm going to uh, use some sandpaper, so this is a 2000 grit piece of nail paper and I can really buff this. Hopefully you can see in here that I'm applying plenty of pressure. There's loads of resistance, so the nail is very, very solid. Then I can go to a finer paper if I want and eventually just got this piece of leather which I'll start polishing with. And over time that will uh, start following the shape of the string as well. Just play with the nail a bit on its own now so you can hear the results. Kind of first result, there's obviously more refinement to do, but you get the idea. Then do a rest stroke. There's plenty of uh, power in that nail. Okay, I think we're at a stage now when we can test the nail. So it still looks a bit messy, it needs a bit of refinement, but it's going to be fine, I think. So just try and play a few things which is a bit, uh, which are a bit heavy on the right hand nail. of uh, power there in the thumb just needs a bit more polishing just to um, get my face in the picture just needs a bit more polishing just to get the refinement of the tone but that'll last a good few weeks and I find it a really really good solution whilst the nail grows back hope that's been useful to you please do uh, like subscribe and share and hopefully see you at some concerts or gigs in the future have a good day thanks bye